What's up guys? Alex with the Cigar Guys here for another cigar review. Today I'm reviewing the LFD Colorado Oscuro. This is going to be one of the more heavy hitting cigars. LFD is known for making more of a medium to full body profile on a lot of their cigars. This one's definitely not going to be an exception to that. Leaning towards the full body side with this one. So I'm going to go ahead and light it up here and get started. Good draw. Getting some herb flavor on the uh, cold draw there. Right away, you're hit with quite a bit of spice. Gets you in the back of the throat a little bit. It's not only like that spice flavor, but it's also a little bit, it's actually like spicy on the tongue. You get a little bit of tingle in there. There's definitely a good amount of Lajero in the, the filler here. Spicy on the retro hail. I'm getting a little bit of woodiness. A little bit of nuttiness as well. Right now in the beginning, it's going to be a lot of that spice. So we'll get into the first third here and then see what happens. About five minutes in or so. And I thought I gave it a pretty good light. However, I am experiencing some unevenness. Looks like there's some canoeing going on here. I don't know if it's the wrapper or, you know, the humidity was being kept at. I'm not sure what's going on here, but I'm going to see if it corrects itself. If not, I'll have to use drastic measures and do some correcting on there. But as far as the flavor goes, the spice has dropped down a bit. Still very full body, getting more of that rich chocolatey flavor, a little bit of espresso as well. On the retro hail, you still get some spice. It's definitely burning the nose a little bit. Uh, the draw is decent. The construction on this cigar has been okay. It might correct itself though, we're still early on. So I'll come back as we finalize the first third, get towards the halfway point, and I'll let you know what's going on. I don't know, I almost feel bad for doing this review. So, um, still burning, haven't touched it up at all, which means it's still canoeing. And there is a decent crack on there leading up to the band. As far as the flavor is concerned, significantly less spice, still has full body on there. I'm getting to enjoy more of the chocolatey, uh, rich notes in there. Draw opened up a little bit, smoke output's better. But yeah, I don't know what's going on with it. I don't know if it's a one-off. Um, this was kept in a humidor that's well-regulated. I take cigars out of there every now and then. I smoke cigars from there all the time with no issues. So I wouldn't say that it was a humidity issue. That's the one humidor that I always look after more than the rest. It's well-regulated. But uh, we'll see. We're going to go towards the middle a little bit more and see if it gets any better, if it catches on. But stay tuned for that. All right, so I didn't get much farther. Um, it actually went out on me. So I do have to uh, do some manual correcting here. But that's a canoe right there. Going to have to try and relight this and see what's going on. All right, I got to relit. Burning better now. Uh, one thing I will say about the cigar, one positive thing is uh it's very smoky and i kind of like that with a cigar uh the wrapper is very oily so you see uh there's a good smoke output not even when you're puffing it just coming out of the foot of the cigar and uh even out of the the head here but you can see that smoke like traveling along the wrapper of the cigar very nice dark oily wrapper a lot of flavor a lot of nicotine in the cigar for sure. It's still very full body all the way through. I'm halfway at this point, so I'm going to get a little further, hopefully with no more issues, and uh, we'll see how it turns out. All right, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. I had one more relight on here. Uh, it's getting very hot. Um, a little bit more bitter, but overall, it's still relatively the same flavor notes. You're getting more spice, however, towards the final third. 
Smoke output is relatively the same. The draw didn't open up too much. So that's all I really got to say about this one. I'm going to leave it there. Hopefully the next LFDI smoke performs much better. But make sure you subscribe to the Cigar Guys podcast so you can stay updated with my uploaded podcast episodes. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified when we upload more cigar reviews or any other fun videos that we do. Check out the links below as well. We've got a lot of short content for you to check out. Full blog on our website, thecigarguys.com. A lot of content for you guys daily to check out. But thank you for all the support. And we'll see you guys in the next cigar review video.